Jim, welcome to Extra Shot. Thank you. Do you mind if I call you Steve? It, it's a little odd, but if it helps you, <laughs> let's go with Steve. Let me show you something I've got. This, do you know what this is? Yes. I've reviewed one of these recently. What is it? Vericam LT. Yeah, and yet, if you look at it with its rugged and handsome lines, Heavy. chiseled, yeah, exactly. What if we could shrink that? Mm. I like the camera. I love the pictures on this. Mm. It's quite manly. Why don't we do something more feminine? Like Ooh. this. Oh. The Eva One. I've been calling it the EVA One for about the last six months. I prefer EV. EV. EV, yeah. <laughs> do you know what EVA stands for? Um, extra, very... Evolution. Um, evolution. Mm. And, uh, well, we all need to evolve. Eva. Eva, an evolution. We should say yes. that this is beyond a pre-production one. This is an engineering example. This was actually assembled, assembled by elves. Was it? Yes, by ha with hammers. Oh, right. So, so it's not... Blind elves in a it's not, it's not. It's not the <laughs> finest quality, but it's, it's, it's a representative it, of what's to come. Is this just a scaled-down LT? Or is it something completely new and fresh? Mm. What's the biggest complaint you had about the LT, the Vericam? The biggest complaint? Yeah. The fact that I had to go through a menu to change the audio levels. Who would design that? On, on the screen on the back. Oh, knobs. Knobs. It's got knobs on. Knobs. Knobs, knobs on the camera side yeah. as well. So, you know, you can do, as a single operator, in the right place. So that says to me that this is aimed more at owner operators, people who are operating it yes. themselves, rather yes. than a cine crew. No, yes. Yes. Movie style. I mean, a lot of the films assistance. we've seen so far have been many crewed. Mm. Is there such a phrase as many crewed? I'm not quite sure. Large crews. Large crewed, many crewed. <laughs> like me. Yes. <laughs> Over but crewed. <laughs> um, but for the single person. That's a big thing. It's yeah. a big thing. The I've, other thing is. Yeah, go on. How quickly does it turn on and off? Oh, shall we test that now? Go on. It's on. Okay, well, that's. Uh, already that's, it's that, ahead. That's already, <laughs> that's already far quicker than I would yes. be. I have seen as well that, um, you know the little green boxes, Vericam green boxes, the focus aid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really nice, because the focus aid... I really like that. Box gets bigger, yeah. box gets smaller. Yeah. I don't know about you, but my eyesight at my age... No, I really can see, like, I think see it works, this. Yeah. It, it, I need all the help <laughs> that I can get. Yes. Um, that's a really good feature. First impressions are, I really like the size and the weight of it. I was doing a little bit handheld. It's, it's chunky, but it's, it feels good, actually. It feels, everything's in the mm. right place. The, the iris, the aperture falls to where my thumb would, if I was holding it. I like the feel of it. I th it it's very light, it's extremely light. I mean, we've, I mean mm. here, we've got a very heavy piece of glass on it, which obviously makes it do a bit of that. But it is very light, um, and everything comes off it, which I, which I like. Yes. So, whole top, that all comes off. Yeah. Side handle, that will come off. And then you've got a really, really tiny little box that you can put on a gimbal, and you can Does this mean places. if you want to use it as a traditional handheld video camera, you're gonna to have to add loads to it, like your base plate, your shoulder pad? But don't we love accessories? Talking of accessories. Yes, go on. Viewfinder. That's not a viewfinder. It's not a viewfinder, and, and in some ways that's disingenuous. It's more of a touch control screen, isn't it? It's a bit like I... the menu on your LT. It is, but it's not, I mean, I like the sunshade, don't get me wrong, mm. that, that's nice. I can't focus with it. No, it's too small. I personally, when, I, when we filmed with it today, I took it off there straight away and I put it back here, simply because then you've got it within the, within the confines of the camera. You're back to the LT again. I'm back to the LT, I'm just yeah, trying to make it an LT. <laughs> you're right, it's back there. You're, but you're then, trying to make it a little LT. Yes, but then of course you free this up to put something decent on the front that you can see through. Yeah. So could you use an LT viewfinder on this camera? You could, you could, there's just one small, problem with that. The <laughs> LT viewfinder costs almost, <laughs> almost as much as the camera. But, yeah. but, but there are other options. There's, you know, there's small HD, 502. Yeah. There's Secuto. They have, they have a couple of options. I know, I know. You can brush over that. Yeah. So that there are other options, you know, you know in, in the marketplace. Um, my biggest surprise of the day, my pleasant surprise for me was EIS. Yes. Stabilization. In body. E, in e, e, e. every every in, no it's really good it's really good and um, it's good it works on all of my 
EF stills lenses. Yes, yes, and I, I have an, had an 18 to 80 cinema zoom. As long as you switch off the stabilisation on the lens, you can use EIS. That so you can't a, have two lots of no, stabilisation? No, I think it was getting confused with the Canon stabilisation right. as well. Okay. But I found if you switched it off, yeah. EIS worked perfectly. It crops in a little bit, so in a, in a way you get a little bit of extra length. So your... is that punching in on the chip? Is that... Because it's, it's 5.7 Which is oversampling, chip. down to 4. So when you punch in with the image stabilisation, are you losing off the 4 or off the... F I'm inclined from our very simple and basic test today you can see it jump. to suggest that, that we're not that it's lossless because it's taking the 5.7. Yeah. It's, we're still getting a full 4K image, okay? Yeah. It's just using the extra information to give us that bit of stabilisation. It was impressive. It definitely worked better than So we're than not losing quality by punching in like that? I don't think we are, no. Because we're what, still oversampling to start off with. I mean, I now. deliberately took your 200mm yeah. and I took it off the tripod and I held it against my body in a way that I would not recommend to anyone. <laughs> um, and I was filming some old people trying to eat a sandwich. Don't use the phrase run and gun. I hate the phrase I wasn't run going and to gun. go. I was going to get more crouch and kneel. Have a, have Wobble a, and shake. Crouch and kneel. Um, and there were some old people trying to have a quiet like sandwich. A double act. I was bothering these old people, but I was bothering, bothering them from a distance yeah. on the 200 mil. And it made a big difference. It does. It, made, it was a difference between it's a noticeable. usable shot and not. Yeah. so to speak. It takes, I'm pleased to see, normal Panasonic batteries. Yes. So if you had a, previously had a Panasonic camera uh, and you haven't got rid of them, hooray, they all slot straight in. That's a big thing. Yep. It uses cheap-ish, I'm going to say cheap-ish, but cheap media, SD. Media that will become cheap, I'm well, sure. Well, it's still stage. cheaper than P2 yeah. cards or RED or anything like or even CFAST. And it'll so, drop the more people yes, use it. Yes. So, and you don't have to, if you're not shooting the highest data rates, you don't need the fastest cards. You only need the fastest SD for the 400 bit, which is not here yet either, technically speaking. We did have a chance to shoot some pictures very quickly down we in did. Pool Harbour. Lovely. Nice and sunny. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. What, I mean, what's your first impressions? From what I could see on a decent monitor, mm. the picture quality looked good. It did. It looked good. I and mean, we, we're playing, we've been playing with a scene file. We've had a shot a bit of vlog. Um, so these are very early days. Yeah, uh, I, I was impressed. I found, also found the two ISOs, the natives, 800 and two and a half, right. looked good. And what we were playing with was the ability to set a native ISO and then pull down a bit. And we found that looked really good. In theory, it should be cleaner. Yeah. If we start higher and go just down, go, and just go down a bit, rather than say setting it 800 and trying to ramp it up to 2,000. Yeah. You go to two and a half and pull it back down a bit. I'm going to roll um, on to a little bugbear of mine, yeah. if I may. Yeah. Which is, it's only a tiny bugbear, yeah. but it's the NDs. Possibly need to be a little stronger at the top end. Right. Yeah. But I mean, they're very convenient because it's literally buttons here, up and down. So shooting in bright sunlight yeah. with 800 standard ISO, Yes. you haven't got enough ND. It's, it, it, it gets a bit tight at the top in bright sunlight if you want to be wide open. Right. So if it was my two pennies worth, I, I would sacrifice the lower one and have a higher one at the top, if that makes any sense. So what's the lowest you can go down to? Is it 200? Point six. Oh, what? On, oh, the, on, on, the, on the ISO. ISO. Yes, yes if we you were, wanted to pull it down. We could, yeah, but we were, we were trying to stay at 800, which is part of the issue, obviously. Yeah. We are trying to stay, keep it at the native. I think the codex in this looks to be amazing. They haven't really pulled their punches, you know. 10 mm. bit. 422. All the, all the numbers we need. And, and, to, and in, an, in most situations, I'm going to say 99 situations, 90% of the time, I don't want to be shooting raw. So the dynamic range of this camera is 14 stops? And that is what the tablets have said. So the V-Log mm. will be a flatter, bigger, <laughs> Wider well, V-Log it, than the GH5. Yes, because the GH5 has a kind of V-Log light, it's like 12. So stops. this puts it back into the LT territory. Much more towards the, towards the LT territory, yes. And you would hope that this would be similar to grade as it is on I, the LT. I would hope so. And I have because to say, I love those pictures yeah. off the LT. And from the footage that we shot earlier this morning, it did look very promising. I find V-Log incredibly flat. That's it needs a lot of grading. No, I'm comparing it to other logs. As right. logs go. Uh, yeah, as logs go, yes. It's, it's, it's very log. It's very flat. 
But you know what you could do if you didn't like that? Yeah. You could just grab a scene file, flatten it off, create your own custom profile that's similar to say to YDR yes. and get 80% of that flatness. I mean, to be honest, it's it's never normally my problem. It's the editor's problem. It's the grader's problem. That's that, that's how we've come to this place. But it needs a lot of grading. Right. But it gives you a fantastic yeah. dynamic. Yeah. Abs abs absolutely. Log is not for everybody. I no. think I think certain jobs require it, but other jobs require a very good picture just out of the box. I think this can do both. On the pictures we shot. Yes. We used it's pointless shooting vlog. And showing yes. people vlogs That's because it needs grading and, and it's then a I'll subjective. I'll grade mine cold because I'm, yeah, I'm naturally depressed and, and yours will be sunny. All over. Yeah. We shot on, as an engineering camera, this doesn't tell you the picture profiles and the different, the scene, the scene. So we used what we think was Cine D. Y well. Or something yes, close to Cine D. What we thought visually looked similar. But it's not, it's called one, two, seven, four, yeah. I mean, whatever. There'll be a new firmware for this, I think, next week. Right. So, uh, you know, again, that will leap up yeah. to, to a different place. So we weren't even sure what mode we were shooting in, but it looked nice. Why change the habits <laughs> of a career? <laughs> <laughs> very impressive pictures. Um, we only had a little poodle by the sea, which is very nice. But we, we, we actually shot in some quite challenging conditions. You know, highlights, sun, the real mix of, mix of mixed bag there, and it handled them all very nicely. Yes, and we should we should bear that in mind that this is a very early example. Mm. The pixies are made. still hammering away <laughs> in the cave making it. So some of the things we're moaning at might be ironed out a little bit. I think so. I mean, uh, we haven't touched on it's got dual card recording as well. Oh right, yeah. okay. So you can back up, which is always nice. Yeah, always always good to have a little redundancy. High frame rates. I think it has some. Yes, two forty. That, that's quite 240 high. 240 in that's HD, high. full HD. That's pretty good. That's good. That's good, yes. And 60 in 4K? Which is the important one. Yeah. Because 50 and 60 in 4K is where you're, got, you're going to use that day in, day out. Yeah. Just half speed. And yep. to have that in 4K is a big deal because that's what we want. But 240 in HD no, is I'm still not. useful for I'm, a lot of broadcast work. Off, whenever I'm you know, letting a champagne cork go, <laughs> I need that. Bursting a balloon. Bursting a balloon. Yeah. You need 240. You need a horse running through a lake, <laughs> that kind of thing, yes. yes. Yeah. Well, I, see you're, um, I see you're poking at the back again. Yeah, sorry. Now, well, it's good <laughs> you did that because um, you know what comes out the back, don't you? Pictures. No. Raw. <laughs> 6G raw out the back of the STI. Ah, OK. Yeah. So you could record that. External recorder. Throw the raw out the back, 10 bit as well. That's the plan. So that will open up, yeah, you know, creative possibilities for those of us that need to shoot raw. Yes. That makes it um, a lot of camera in a small package. It does, it does. So yes. is that a firmware upgrade? That will come down the road, I believe. Yes, mm. yes. I know you're a, a big GH5 fan, yes, and use one regularly. Yes, would you swap your GH5 for one of these? That's 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 a very leading question. Um, no, I oh. want I want I want both. Am I allowed uh, both? Uh, Am I allowed both? Yes. Because well, they do uh, different jobs. You know, I can't put my EF stuff. I, yes, I can speed booster. I have a speed booster. It does work, but it's not the same as just clipping it onto a native EF mount and, mm. going, and going to work. So with um, both, yeah, is the GH5 a B camera to your Eva One? Or is the EVA 1 the video camera to go with the GH5? You know, it's, yeah. it's a tough one, isn't it? It is a tough one. It is a tough one. Um, I think all, all the, like, we go back to the thing. It's, there are no, no bad cameras. They all do different things. Um, I remember how you've got everything here. You don't have to add the audio. Mm. It's all built in. It'll run for longer. But you have to add perhaps more bits to it. I don't know, because there's no screen, really. It's a bigger rig, but then you can put bigger glass on it. There's no, there's no true answer there. I think this with a GH5 is pretty much in one kit done. Is a really nice interview kit. Yes. I'm getting asked more and more for second cameras. Yes. And I've I've got the Sony and F5. You never, ta you never take I'd... me with you. <laughs> uh, they no, they don't want to, they don't want the camera man. No, I know. <laughs> they just want the second I'll camera. Make tea. 
This with the GH5 yes. is, a, is a good shooting kit. Well, I think they'll cut together, one hopes, yeah. very, very naturally. Yes, yeah. yes, be a fantastic shooting kit. Impressive pictures. They need to come out with, even if it's an extra, a, a, an EVF, a nice and EVF. Proper EVF. A proper EVF. A proper EVF, can, yeah. and not the LT one because it costs so much money. But the size and the position and the feel of it mm. is uh, getting near to being perfect in a video camera, I think. In summary, yeah. I think, if Steve was here, well, this he is, is here. <laughs> if Steve was here, yeah. if Steve wasn't somewhere else, yes, he'll be mad at you not to see this because I think this is the sort of camera that Steve would want. Is he an angry man? Can be. Would he mind that I've been? Yeah. Okay. You don't want to know.